Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are heading to Red Bull Ring with absolute no practice because uh, we, we are back to work so obviously we have very limited time for racing but obviously it's not gonna I'm not gonna stop this and I really love what these races are all about so starting from P9 for the first race I during qualifying I mean during practices I hit 1 minute 22 but uh, during qualifying I don't hit like 1 minute 22.9 I think yeah so it gives me P9 P8 sorry P9 so Turn one absolutely fine. Everyone fine. There was a slight touch because he went too wide. I had no chance, and one guy's completely about lit, so I feel bad for him. But the racing continues. So this one I did it as a practice race because I I didn't do any practices. So I just okay. So turn two again. He went too wide there, but somehow managed one and one guy down again. So absolutely carnage for those drivers. Because this car has a lot of ground force and then when you are in slipstream, actually slipstream it's not really an advantage here for us, especially for the B class drivers. For me I don't think like, because it's it only, especially during the mid sector, mid, uh, mid sectors, it, it makes things like worse. Especially turning. So turn, turning is okay. Frenchman went too wide and then I don't know, he joined back, kind of squeezed me out again. Oh my god. That's that's ridiculous a move by a German driver. He just completely pushed me away from there. So two positions lost, but anyway, no harm. Okay, the British squeezing fair move for him. So but yeah, it's a, it's a fair move. So I got to admit it. But the German, what he did, it it was actually a kind of joystick player move. I mean, it's not professional at all, but. It seems to be quite fine so far, so alright. Another German, another Frenchman trying to squeeze through outside and then I had no other way because I was already holding my inside line. I just took my inside line. I, 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 I couldn't really save him anymore but it gives him a bad run so it gives me some space for the turn 3 which is this turn. Alright, so power up the car really nicely there, managed to get up the British. So now in lap 2 I think race kind of spread out so everything seems so everything seems fine for the race 2 unless <laughs> at the end I bought lit. I mean for me this is practice days I'm taking this really light so and I'm focusing on the next race. I'm, I'm kind of good at Red Bull rings but I mean in my driver ranking so. Trying to catch up British driver he's all over the place so obviously we are gonna make a move some somewhere near but even driving P8 in this this lobby was really fast I mean the first the top driver was somewhere around 121s and then the top 10 which is the the guy who started behind me was 122.8 so 22.9 he was only like like half of a tenth slower than me on the qualifying so it everything was like in in one second top 10 so obviously it's 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 a tough race and it's it's a close uh, skilled drivers Okay, we lost another two positions there. Frenchman squeezing. I had to give him space. Obviously, it's a fair move. So I got two French, one Italian and one Frenchman. Sorry, Italian moved in. Uh, moved in. So going to the Nikanaura corner. I have the inside line. I hope he will not move. Break as late as I can and boom. That that's kind of diving, but I think I made it fair. But Frenchman managed to to squeeze in. But because of that they both got contact i think they both were battling on the outside which they didn't realize that i'm squeezing in inside so anyway no no such a contact oh, almost had a contact there no such a contact in that move but it was it was a fine move as i believe because i break very late and i kept it inside the line i mean i ended up i gave them space too so so jumping into lap number eight i'm trying I'm gonna do my PT in and get the hard tires on. This is where everything went wrong, I think. So, um, lap 8, I was completely fine, and then uh, everything was fine until here, and then rejoining on I think 12th or 10th. Yeah, yeah, we are rejoining to the track as 11th position, and we have a uh, Britain and then the Frenchman be in front of us. Hope that they will fight and give us some space to rejoin them let's hope that they will fight off i mean 
they are this is too early to fight they should have let each other go but this is a great advantage for me that i can go and catch them up and i'm on a fresh tire so i can obviously go past them so and i believe they have a pit stops as well so yep lapping into lap 12 guys so we lot of guys had a pit pit in so i've been promoted to lap a uh, p8 everything seems good and i'm really happy to drive pt8 in this lobby because it's a tough lobby and they we had a one a great driver as well in this lobby so it, it's it's really a close battle i mean a, a close uh, skilled drivers it's not a spread out lobby and also a lot of clean driving going on apart from obviously it's normal in red bull rings and diving and, and all because it's a it's, it's a very fast flowing circuit so lap number 13 there you go goodbye to my race so this is the mistake i made i completely bodily die i power up the car i mean i took more i didn't think i took more curve and i'm trying my best to correct the car but the more i tried the more i hurt worse and also i did a stupid rejoin here i should have luckily there were no one else so no, i'm done but also i hit the barrier so plus that mistake plus 1.5 seconds of penalty kind of ruined my race i'm doing i'm doing the race on p15 now there's nothing much i can do and just laugh and anyway I, this is a practice race for me i'm not taking it very serious so let's hope that we can at least finish p12 because it's the both drivers are very close so let's hope that we can catch p12 we still have like uh, two one and a half left left, left. yeah so the spaniel and then the italian driving really close to each other i mean that corner is very famous for spin out and then i i think i put the throttle too early when on a hard tires and I'm, I, as i got used to medium tires i put the throttle and maybe i touch a little bit of green stuff and then goodbye to my <laughs> rear end and it okay very very dirty by french and spaniel he didn't give any space to the italian yet and that gives us p12 easy i mean come on guys you're on a you're on a bs lobby you're on a high high bs lobby and we have a a great driver as well in the lead so i could only get p12 guys in this race but it is fine but i also want to say that this is i had a 99 sr and 18k points on when i joined this race it means that this is kind of kind of like at advanced type of uh, drivers and then if this is what you guys i mean higher rated drivers doing Come on, this is supposed to be the highest ranking. So, next jump into the next race. So again, I bought lap qualifying, but I did a little bit of better qualifying. I joined, I joined 1.22.7. So it was like it gives me seventh position, and this lobby was not as close as the previous one. So, so the guy behind me did 131.1. So he was 14th. So comparing to last lobby, I have some breathing space here, but of course I do have a little less points because uh, there were no A great drivers in this lobby, all, all of BS. Still, a lot of good clean racing were there, so starting for, uh, lap, okay, there were touches, I don't know what happened, the guys were battling, I tried to squeeze into inside and somehow the, the GTR I think went wide and ended up in the gravel, so... Turkish guy is kind of pushing him away, but it's not a like a dirty. I think it's it's a racing incident. So, but again, so we have a NSX British driver behind us, and then he's he's close enough. But I felt really confident with him because he didn't try any diving. He knew that I'm gonna catch up this guy ahead, but uh, I had a bad mid sex mid sex there, So, and the worst part for me, I'm driving with. A controller Pratt driver head which makes things worse because he's fishtailing all over the place and I can't really focus on the track and I'm afraid that he will break early or something but actually he's the guy who won the race in this race so it's it's so funny because uh, because mo all the drivers in here apart from myself and him did two two pittings so they did two stops while I did only one stop because I was really fine with the, the hard tires okay they are going side by side but unfortunately the lexus couldn't uh, the other lexus couldn't really get a good exit so still 
sorry the so the turkish driver got ahead and then uh, two, while two lexus are battling i managed to catch up uh, one of them then i'm all good i think i'm going to go catch him up but a slight gap in here i'm i'm on his flip stream range and there is no such a thing such a guy, driver's close to me from behind so i have full freedom to go and catch him up so going towards to the right hand uh, i'm following him following him he, he just stopped his car middle of the track man i mean come on you you can't take middle of the road you can either take outside or inside so i had no other way and he also he was breaking me early so i had to squeeze in in and then obviously it's not a dead you know something but he gave me no space so i had to squeeze in inside so i took the position there so but still the bad thing he's right on my tail and i'm afraid when when he pulled that move because he doesn't seem to be like he seems to be very aggressive and then he doesn't want to lose even at the very early stage one position so wow he used all the track there and this is my mistake in red bull ring i'm i'm really kind of afraid of the curves in red bull ring because of the the penalties i tried as much as i can to avoid the curves and then just just run through especially before the the long straights okay he made a move and i didn't expect that but that was a dive bomb kind of pushed me away but it's all good because he had the inside line there i didn't expect him to make a move there i took my normal line i didn't expect him he was no way he was like no 0.6 there but anyway we are jumping in and then let's see if we can catch him up again so again we are going very close to him i mean we have a we don't have i don't have really enough space to make a move let's see all right so no no we can't make any moves there so i'll try my best to drive close to him at least so if in case he make a mistake or in case he just uh, all right one let me six behind us end up in the gravel promoting the the british driver to p6 meanwhile we have a, i have a battle with the the lexus in front of me so let's see if he can make a move anytime soon so i'm kind of falling behind especially when the tire wear goes out and i'm kind of falling behind and then the lexus has full free slip stream of uh, the another lexus the turkish driver so i'm kind of falling behind at that point i, I was pushing so really hard and then this happened guys and he end up in the gravel he just made a mistake and but as i was expecting he end up in the gravel now he will have a dirty tires for the next two corners obviously i can pull can pull away i can break the slip stream to him if i can make a break the slip stream he'll be gone because we had the same pace so all good here so jumping in to the next sectors i mean next laps nothing much happened i was running pretty much my own p4 so uh, luckily i didn't make silly mistake this time so all good here oops that was a nasty he was trying to enter to the pit pit and then or something i don't know what happened there it, it was a disaster come on guys you you got to like at least be kind to each other <laughs> it was a, a direct kick by and then funny thing the the british driver got penalty for that <laughs> So I'm lucky that I made a I I just pull out from him. I don't think it's his mistake. Uh, the Lexus should have just brake and then wait to enter the pit stack. And also this was my mistake. You will realize I decided to stay one extra lap. I supposed to pit in in lap 7, but I decided to stay until lap 9. Because lap 8 I felt fine. Uh, my lap times were at 120. 4.124.7 there and then my lap 8 went to 126.9 and completely because my tires were completely gone i couldn't handle the car and i was afraid of spinning out and that kind of put me in a situation that costed me you will see in the later on the stage that costed me a lot because i just don't want to 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 race with the pack i just want to do the overcut i thought okay the lap i went 124.9 i think yeah seven and then i thought i'll be fine i'll be able to put at least 125 yes i will lose one or two seconds 
maybe 1.5 second but still that will help me with the traffic then obviously i can pull out so i'm since everyone promote uh, pt i was promoted to p2 and then i did my pt and then i use uh, my hard tires as it was mandatory so so far everything was fine in the race even though a little bit but everyone like if a few i think no one actually died from it nah like like other than the 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 incident between the lexus and the british so i kind of cut on i i received a 0.5 second of penalty but it's all good i didn't i think it's the pit entry that gave me a penalty there so running on p3 my strategy kind of worked look if i did pit in i would have end up in that back packs and, and the, the the pack behind me i mean i would have lose more time than 4 seconds there or 3 seconds whatever i lose because if i got caught bit by that pack i would have to battle and use all my tires the precious tires to get rid of the pack and then by the time the leader will be gone away and leader already had had uh, have 8 second had almost like 8 second gap in here so and then by now i was comfortably running p3 so my strategy actually works it kind of cost me like 3 second which i could gain on the turkish driver at this, that point turkish driver was driving 2.4 second and then the yellow flag this is really bad and we all said sorry i feel we all felt sorry for the italian driver here this is what happened he was running really fine he was he was having 8 second gap almost 6.5 second gap for the p2 and then for myself 8 second so and then oops man it it's horrible this is what happens to me as well in the last race <laughs> so i feel him and right after the race not only myself the two british drivers turkish driver we all said we feel sorry for you man and man as well, so you look look how much he was struggling these cars are really hard to handle when they are out of control and then it promoted me to p2 and then i end the race on p2 with like 160 or something points i don't know 112 points or something it's it's a mixed lobby so yeah we felt bad for the italian drivers we driver we just we just we all said like six messages just for him we felt bad for you and blah 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 so that's racing sometimes you make the same last race i made mistake so without practice p2 it's all good for me i'm really happy to keep the shilanga back so thank you very much guys for watching and hope you will have a good races ahead see ya